We're here with women's head basketball coach Kate Peterson Abiad. Let's start with the overall thoughts tonight on uh, today's victory over Old Miss. Well, we're just really excited to get this win um, on a number of fronts. First of all, it's our first, I believe, our first program victory over an SEC team. And, you know, uh, as you're growing a team, you, you know, those victories, you just really have to celebrate. Uh, we feel really good about the stretch that we're on and, and having won five games in a row. And um, so, we're just building on something, and it's it's becoming you know a lot of fun. Obviously, it's a lot more fun to win than lose, and and I see a lot of focus in these girls. I um, I don't think that we played our best game tonight. I, of, of the last five games, I don't think this game even really matches up with the previous games. Um, but we did enough to be able to win, and the one thing that we are doing well is we're shooting the ball pretty well. Um, we had a lot of people contributing, and that, that seemed to be a major factor. We stopped their transition, which was one of our key points, and um, we, you know, we held them to a poor shooting night. Um, I, I think the biggest part of what we need to improve on is uh, they killed us on the offensive board, so we've got to get, get a lot better about that. Tonight marks the fifth straight win for the Vikings. What have you been seeing out of your team during that stretch? Well, I, I just see us getting a little bit better at a little bit of everything, defensively and offensively. The chemistry is improving daily. Um, we're uh, learning how to deal with different adversities and challenges on the court. We're learning how to pick each other up and um, to provide the lift that we need when during those stretches where things aren't going very well for us. Um, and I, I just I think it, we're maturing, and I, that's showing in the – the fact that we're able to stop stretches um, where we can't score and, and we can't get stops, and we're able to we're able to hold those to a minimum now. Where in the past we, those we get out of hand. So uh, really, just I really think we're growing up a lot. Corey Coleman had a team high 20 points tonight, including four three pointers. Can you talk about her performance? Yeah, Corey. She said to me against Tennessee State because she kind of I don't remember her statistics, but I remember she only had maybe two points at halftime and then ended up with 15 or 17 in the second half. And, you know, I asked her why she wasn't really looking to score in the first half, and she said she needed to warm up, get warmed up. And I, I kind of laughed about that because tonight she had three in the first half and ended up with 20, and uh, so maybe she was warming up in the first half. But she gains confidence throughout the game, and she gets a feel for where she's going to have her openings and what she's able to do. Tonight I thought – that um, the reason why she was so successful is that she was very good on penetration and then she was, then that opened up opportunities for her to shoot. Um, she's a very versatile player and uh, when both games are on her penetration and her shooting game, she's pretty tough to guard. The defense held Ole Miss to 27% from the floor tonight. Can you talk about your defensive performance? Well, we switched it up a bit um, tonight and, and we tried to uh, stop their penetration. I mean, that was the biggest thing, and we wanted them to not get shots in and around the basket. Now, half we got half of that done because we were able to force them into taking some perimeter shots that maybe they weren't that comfortable with, but the other half was that we gave them some off, a lot of offensive rebounds, and, we, and they weren't able to convert um, on several of them. So um, they didn't hurt us as much as it could have, uh, but our defense has been improving and I think that we're starting with any defense you have to be able to rely on one another and understand you know where your help is coming from and I think we're, we're growing in that respect and, and we're able to count on one another a lot more. You continue the four game homestand this Saturday against New Hampshire. Any thoughts on the upcoming game? Uh, yeah, well, I haven't really been able to take a look at much film. Um, they're very disciplined, uh, very organized, um, run a lot of set plays and um, you know, they'll present a different challenge for us. Um, I'm just looking forward to another opportunity to get back out on the court. Uh, I think it's going to be really good for us to have a day off uh, tomorrow and regroup a little bit and then start our preparation for the New Hampshire game. Thank you very much. Thank you.